Okay, well, I make it uh, 10.30, so I'm going to make a start. Uh, first of all, hello to everyone. Um, thank you for joining us for today's Wolf Vision uh, webinar, where we're going to be concentrating today on the main sign-up. Uh, that's the top-end uh, device in the sign-up family. Uh, my name is Julian. I'm based in the UK, and it's my pleasure to welcome uh, John, who's my uh, trusted colleague, also based in the UK. Um, later in the webinar, we'll also be um, joined by Jan Ivar from our Nordic office. Welcome, uh, Jan Ivar. And um, also Max Hansen uh, from Karlstadt University in Sweden. Thank you, Max, for joining us. Um, today's webinar will be recorded and made available together with our other Wolf Vision webinars. Um, but please feel free to um, ask any questions uh, during the presentation. Uh, my colleague John will be answering the questions uh, during the first part of the presentation and uh, I'll be doing the second half. Okay, so let's get cracking with the main sign up. So. Just go back a second, excuse me a second. So here we are, apologies for that. So this is sign up itself, this is the main sign up. Sign up um, actually uh, is essentially the sign up pure, the pure pro and the core together with some other features. So for example, um, you have the additional features will be uh, recording, um, uh, webcasting, streaming, uh, web conferencing and collaboration with Office 365 is, uh, is all possible with the main sign up. And in addition, a wide array of AV and IT connectivity. And this is what I'm going to start, uh, start with first to give you an insight into the AV uh, sort of IT infrastructure that you can achieve and build around the, the main sign up. So I'm just going to go to uh, the visualizer. Where we're going to have a look at the back of the sign up. Now this particular sign up, this is the sign up A. So this is the, uh, the HDMI version. We do have three other um, uh, sign up products in the range B, C and D and there are HD based T versions but for the purpose of today's um, presentation we're just going to be concentrating on sign up A. So as you can see at the back um, these are all the connections you can see that we've got um, um, uh, two HDMI inputs so if I just start first of all with the HDMI in one um, our knowledge obviously of the university sector, we obviously know that um, pretty much all the time you will have a, an in-room PC. So we, we could potentially then put in HDMI 1 would be the room PC. Uh, and then obviously HDMI um, in 2, uh, you could conceivably put in, uh, you can connect one of our Wolf Vision visualizers. Uh, you could um, potentially have that spare HDMI connection for uh, a laptop. If someone wants to hardwire uh, a laptop into the, the sign up, then you can also do that as well. Um, then in, in terms of uh, carrying on with the, the visualizer theme, you could also, rather than using the HDMI connection, with the visualizer, you could also use uh, one of the um, one of the USB connections for the visualizer. Um, all our units are UVC enabled, so you could actually connect the visualizer via USB as well. Uh, alternatively, you could use the visualizer here with one of the LAN ports, so uh, you can um, create or set up an input stream and uh, use the, uh, the LAN port to, uh, to show the visualizer from there. In addition, we have uh, two HDMI um, outputs as well. So HDMI one 
you could uh, you'd, you'd obviously connect your projector or monitor. If you um, needed dual projection in the room, then you could uh, obviously use HDMI out two to uh, to run two screens or two projectors in the room. But this is an area of great interest to us because an alternative an alternative to uh, to, to the using HDMI out two is you could use a small touch monitor. And with this, Synapse itself offers um, peripheral commands in its settings. So by connecting the small touch monitor to uh, the HDMI out, you could create your own sort of mini uh, room management system using the, the touch monitor. You place it on a lectern or a table. And um, with the peripheral commands, you can, uh, you can uh, assign PJ link to um, actually uh, activate the projector and the monitor uh, in the room. So you can switch those uh, on and off um, through our wolf prop commands as well. You can, uh, you can activate and, and uh, operate the visualizer. So um, what you can also do uh, within this sort of AV infrastructure of, um, of sign up is create a, a small um, touch monitor with uh, and use sign up's user interface to um, control the, uh, uh, all the devices in the room itself. In addition here with the two LAN ports that you have, we have vSolution matrix. So with sign up in the room, you're already halfway there to having a, uh, to changing it into an active learning space as well. So um, with our um, vSolution matrix feature pack installed on the sign up um, and then adding uh, whatever um, whatever collaborative tables you have in that room, uh, say you have three collaborative tables, then you would add three sign up core to the overall installation, and you would then be able to create an active learning space or a remote co collaboration space for that room. So the sign up uh, offers a great deal of flexibility in terms of the type of room that you want to uh, that you want to create. Similarly, here. We have four uh, USB connections. And these USB connections, as I mentioned, uh, they can be used to uh, connect to the visualizer. But uh, you can also use a Magawell frame grabber with SignUp. We fully tested uh, the, uh, the, the Magawell with SignUp. And uh, you can use the Magawell frame grabber to add two additional um, uh, HDMI connections to sign up. So I think you'll agree that uh, you can get quite a comprehensive um, matrix switcher with, uh, with when you're using sign up and uh, with the additional functionality of using the, uh, the, the, the MAGA worlds as well. So I just thought I'd give you an overview there of um, you know the sort of the sort of infrastructure that you can achieve with uh, with with um, sign up. So let's just go back. And so having looked at the AV infrastructure, these are the sorts of connectivity options that will be uh, at your disposal. So, um, you know, you, there are an array of input and output sources, uh, as well as numerous control options that you can, uh, that you can use with, uh, with, with SignUp itself. So now we're gonna move on. We've talked about the sort of infrastructure that you can build around SignUp in a room. We're now going to look at some of the individual um, features that, that SignUp offers. So the first one is with the network integration. Um, you have numerous options in terms of connectivity. Uh, you have two um, wired LAN ports and also one um, uh, wireless um, LAN. So in terms of um, being able to separate uh, your your corporate land traffic and your um, uh, your visitor um, land traffic, then you can you can do that very easily with SignUp itself. So you can either set up a corporate wired or wireless land, or you can uh, create a 
um, a visitor or guest um, wired or wireless network. And both those networks are completely divorced from each other. So obviously we know that that's very important for use in the, on university campuses and, in and, and within enterprises. In addition, we support Bluetooth device discovery. So um, if, for example, uh, your Bonjour MDNS was, uh, was blocked, then uh, you will be able to, to use Bluetooth uh, to discover, for example, um, uh, and use AirPlay uh, if you wanted to. So that's another option that is at your disposal. Mentioned earlier about the fact that you could set up a, uh, a small room management system um, with, uh, with, with, with Synap in terms of having a small um, uh, touch monitor um, built into um, or put, uh, connected to one of the HDMI outs. Um, in addition, uh, we also support uh, the, all the other main uh, room, um, room system manufacturers. So uh, AMX, X, um, Crestron and Xron is also fully supported for use with Synap. Um, and of course you can um, control uh, Synap uh, remotely, either using a browser or RB solution app. So, uh, but as I say, um, you could use our user interface, so Synap's user interface, uh, with the peripheral commands in the in the settings within sign up to create your own uh, room management system which would look something like this whereby this is what the lecturer or the presenter would see uh, in the room uh, and uh, on the actual touch monitor uh, he or she will then see an array of different um, buttons to uh, to touch and uh, of course you can add on more to these so you can you can have a laptop uh, added on you can name all these functions uh, you can have um, a, a room camera for example function all that can be added on and this is essentially what the uh, what the presentable lecture will, will see in the room and by touching those they would then be able to activate um, various um, applications whether they want to show a whiteboard uh, they want to show something from a visualizer, something live, some live content. They want to use, um, uh, they want to show um, an iPhone or they want to um, do some web conferencing. They can do that as well. So in addition uh, to the room management within the room, you can also remote manage Synap. Um, uh, vSolution Link Pro has been recently introduced to support Synap and um, that gives you, uh, it's an online management tool and it gives you um, lots of options to be able to remotely control um, sign up. You can, uh, you can do firmware updates, um, you can, do, you can, you can um, initiate firmware updates for single or multiple units, um, you can back up and restore sign up settings for example, um, and you can also assign tasks to uh, local administrators to, to you know, carry out uh, the, uh, the, the, the um, online maintenance of, uh, of Synap itself. So you have that also uh, available. So one of the other core features of, of, uh, of Synap is, uh, is obviously the BYOD experience. And um, we support um, all, the, uh, all formats of, uh, of BYOD. So if you want to use uh, any, any format, any device, any mirroring protocol is fully supported by Synap. So we fully support Miracast. Miracast is um, uh, quite a quite a tough um, um, protocol to to actually um, get working correctly, and we've done a huge amount of work on this. And we like to believe that uh, you would have a very good experience using Miracast with uh, with with Synap. Um, it supports four uh, windows in parallel, so you can have four Miracast connections uh, at any one time. You have the touchback functionality. Um, you get to have a dedicated peer-to-peer -peer, um, connection, or um, you can also use um, MSS, MS Mice uh, for Windows laptops only. Um, and uh, with, with MS Mice, the connection is, uh, is almost instantaneous. With peer-to-peer -peer connections, there can sometimes be a short lag, but with, uh, with Mice, it's, uh, the latency is very, very fast. Very easy to operate. You would just press Win and the K button uh, on your laptop to, uh, to, to activate it. So we fully support Miracast. Also, AirPlay is fully supported. Um, 
uh, very easy to set up AirPlay with uh, um, with 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 SignUp. Um, we'll move on a little bit later. We can there's um, it's a seamless connection. You will just um, activate AirPlay on your iPhone or your uh, or on your um, tablet, um, um, and uh, you you will you'll be connected straight away. Chromecast, we also support, um, obviously, um, either via the Google Home app or Chrome browser. So um, that's also fully supported um, in, uh, with, within, uh, with, with our BYOD. And if uh, you're in an environment where um, Wi-Fi is, is not so, it's not so easy to create or you're using um, older, um, uh, Windows laptops, uh, Windows 7 laptops, for example, and a few Windows 8 laptops where Miracast is not supported, then you can download our vSolution Cast app and be able to um, uh, show wirelessly your laptop by vSolution Cast. So just to recap about the BYOD, um, we like to think that the BYOD experience with SignUp is extremely easy to use. Um, there are no apps. You don't need to download an app at all to to activate um, uh, BYOD with uh, with sign up. It's uh, it's just a direct connection to uh, to your device. So some of the other main features that I'm going to discuss: uh, integrated web browser. So um, you can actually um, pre uh, bookmark your uh, you know your 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 four um, preferred uh, websites. So um, when you activate the web browser, you can, uh, they, they will come up immediately and you can personalize also uh, the, the page or screen that you want to show. So that's already conveniently built in for you. In addition, uh, the, sign, the main sign up has a, a whiteboard and annotation function. So you can um, um, bring up uh, the whiteboard as a, as a window and, uh, and use that or you can annotate either on one window or you can annotate over the whole image itself. The whiteboard, obviously, you can use to make notes and uh, draw concepts quite uh, quite easily. In addition, with, uh, with anything that you annotate, uh, you can also um, create a snapshot. That snapshot is either um, can either be downloaded onto a USB stick or it can be stored um, within, uh, within, within SignUp itself or you can, you can store it to your chosen cloud service. And with the, uh, with the annotation, you can actually uh, um, get more people involved with the, uh, with, with, the, um, with the annotating. So you can um, um, appoint a, a moderator and uh, the moderator can then decide uh, what, what annotation is shown at any one time. And uh, you can get multiple users to, uh, to actually annotate as well. Now, I mentioned earlier that typically there is a room PC, um, but uh, if the, for one reason there, there isn't a, a PC, then there is a huge amount of storage that you can, uh, that you can put onto SignUp itself. So it has its own built-in media and document player. So um, all sorts of different files, uh, videos, images can be, can be stored onto SignUp and uh, uh, you can then access those uh, very easily. So you can access those via your chosen cloud service. So we, these are all the, um, uh, the cloud services that we support uh, within the sign up, within main sign up itself. Uh, if you have a very big file that you, want to, uh, that you want to download, then we have up to 10 network drives available uh, for you to download very big files uh, for, you to, for you to show from sign up. Or uh, you can connect, um, or you can uh, put a USB stick into the front of sign up and uh, show content off a USB stick. So um, if you don't have the, uh, a PC in the room, then you can always use the, uh, the, the storage that's available uh, in, within SignUp itself. Uh, another, another feature is, uh, is we have full collaboration with Office 365. So um, you can um, share files with teammates quite easily, download those, and uh, it's an optional feature pack with the, with the main sign up itself. Um, 
that um, all your um, files and content that you want to share, you can do that seamlessly with our feature pack, uh, Office 365. And then uh, a new addition to some of the feature packs that we have that support sign up your fee solution meeting. Um, this is something that was uh, introduced uh, earlier on this year and it allows you to schedule meetings in your Outlook calendar. Um, you can um, start an ad hoc meeting. Uh, you can also send content to those that you invite um, in advance of the meeting and then that content can be distributed uh, to them after the meeting itself. So that's a, a new. Um, uh, a new feature pack uh, that, that's recently been added to to support the main sign up itself. So now I'm going to move over to uh, Jonathan, who is going to um, talk more about the uh, the rest of the range that uh, that is available with the main sign up itself. Hey, thanks, Julian. Okay, right. Um, yeah, so as Julian sort of briefly explained some of the kind of key features of sign up um, and the connectivity, I just want to touch briefly upon um, our solutions for webcasting and streaming um, in terms of what sign up can offer in that area. Um, so following on in terms of a key feature of sign up is web conferencing. So we um, support Zoom and WebRTC currently natively within our B solution app. Um, that allows users to launch uh, their own meetings um, using their own credentials, which are securely encrypted in our free mobile application. So a user can walk into um, a sign up enabled space and launch directly into their um, Zoom um, meeting call or WebRTC very easily. Microsoft Teams, we support that through our Office 365 feature pack. And from the summer onwards as part of our uh, summer release, we'll be adding the same functionality for Microsoft Teams. So um, within our AV Solution app, which is shown here um, on the slide, you could have a combination of Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and WebRTC uh, meeting credentials stored in your mobile application. So it makes it really flexible. Um, increasingly, we're seeing lots of universities and, and corporate customers using a mixture of different platforms for different purposes. Microsoft Teams is obviously very strong in higher education at the moment. But I'm hearing increasing stories of Zoom um, also gaining traction in those areas, as well as WebRTC services like based on Starleaf or Pexit, for example. Um, we really offer a kind of universal platform so you can connect to your chosen platform. Um, what all these features really mean um, in an education setting is that we can support synchronous and asynchronous teaching and learning. Um, synchronous being um, live um, where the lecturer is delivering content with either a local audience or a remote audience in a live setting um, asynchronous being pre-recorded content so obviously some of the features that Julian explained obviously can be used in the live classroom very easily um, but when we add in our recording and streaming functionality um, then we can begin to use them in a more sophisticated way So this kind of slide pulls together all the functionality we offer. Um, so as far as recording goes, we can record locally to the sign up device itself onto its internal hard drive. Uh, a user can take away a recording on a USB drive and upload to their own content management system. Um, or we can send that recording directly to an FTP server, for example, um, for local storage and distribution um, on your campus network. We also offer Panopto and OpenCast as a, a feature pack. So you can use those uh, lecture capture platforms to record uh, lectures and deploy them through your virtual learning environment or LMS. Um, and from this summer, we're adding additional functionality for Panopto, whereby you'll be able to schedule bulk recordings through um, the Panopto scheduling tool. So that's a, a big improvement if you schedule you know, 30 or 40,000 lectures per year, um, or for example, if you've got an, an opt-out policy for lecture capture whereby everything is recorded by default, that's a really powerful way of scheduling bulk recordings. Um, you do so through your uh, Panapso cloud platform, 
and sign out will be seen as a capture appliance on your network. Um, so as well as the in-room functionality, um, sign out then becomes its own lecture capture appliance. In terms of streaming, um, we support RTP and RTSP streaming on your local network. Um, you can send and receive full HD streams at 30 frames per second using an H264. Um, that's very easy to configure if you want to stream between rooms um, or to students uh, working remotely on campus. And students can make their own personal recordings using um, a mobile app and they can annotate on those uh, recordings as well. So it's really flexible for remote learning on campus. Extending further, we've got webcasting. So if you're broadcasting kind of live over the internet, we support YouTube, uh, Facebook Live and Wowser systems um, through an optional webcasting feature pack. And lastly, we've got web conferencing with Zoom, Microsoft Teams and WebRTC. Um, what's really interesting about SignUp is you, you can use all these tools together. So you don't need to choose one or the other. You could be doing a live web conference while recording all the content on your sign up and simultaneously streaming out to other parts of campus. So a couple of simple examples. Um, so extending the classroom. So um, a common scenario during term one, certainly at UK universities, um, certain uh, course modules may over recruit um, and have larger student numbers they can than they can accommodate in the physical classroom. So they may need to stream from one lecture room to another lecture room for overflow, or even potentially to students who are working um, on other parts of campus or from their student accommodation. So sign up can support that out of the box and it's very simple to configure. Another key issue, which is quite prominent at the moment, is kind of teaching capacity issues. Lots of universities are being forced to look at the way they teach within uh, teaching spaces with the COVID-19 challenges. Um, therefore, large lecture theatres or seminar rooms are, are having to be reduced in capacity um, to maintain social distancing. So this forces universities to stream to multiple rooms, um, or example, stream from a lab space um, where it's, it's practical teaching that's very difficult to do online. So again, sign up can support this in conjunction with uh, visualizers and other technology and um, to broadcast that. And in terms of the sign up itself, so it could be a, a permanent installation within a lecture theater, for example, where it handles all your switching, streaming, um, and recording functionality. Um, it could be a mobile solution mounted to a, a mobile cart or trolley um, wheeled into a, a space to create a temporary teaching space. Um, the, the image on the bottom left of the slide here is my home office setup with a sign up. So it's very quick to deploy um, if you need to create a temporary teaching space um, where possibly a lecturer needs to isolate from the students um, but still needs to be able to broadcast the content of the recording um, both locally and off campus um, or a, a small seminar room as the other room shows. Okay. Okay, I'll hand back to Judy now. Yes, okay, thanks a lot, John. So um, now we're, I'm going to hand over to Jon Ivar. Jon Ivar, and uh, he's based in our uh, Nordic office, uh, and to um, Max uh, at Karlstadt University to uh, uh, discuss Max's experiences of sign up at the university. Thanks, Jon Ivar. Thank you, Julian. And uh, thank you, Max, for joining us today. Um, Max, as Julian said, you are situated in Costa University. Um, could you describe a little bit about the setup you have with sign up at your university? Yeah, I will share my screen a little bit here. Uh, just some slides. This is for our famous uh, egg. Uh, but we have uh, we've been working with what we call RLC uh, rooms, uh, active learning classrooms. And at the moment we have three different rooms. This is the first original one without so much te technology. We just use screens and uh, furniture we can move around. And I will later show a little bit more about this room. We call it Risk Club, where we're using a lot of uh, touch screens and of course uh, sign up and sign up core. 
And then we have the third room, uh, like a twin room to this. We just call it RLC room, but also with five um, sign-up core and uh, with also with the whiteboard uh, touch screens and round table in this case, because RLC is coming from Minnesota, the concept, but we mix it a little bit to be more flexible. Um, so that's uh, the existing three rooms that we have uh, at the moment, and we are planning to uh, build more rooms, but uh, how much technology we want or not depends on my colleagues. So you are in the risk lab right now, as you mentioned. Um, yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about how the sign up is being used in that room? I'm standing here because I want to move around a little bit to show how the room is looking like. Like the picture I showed that we have a, a sign up. And in this room, we have also four uh, tables with the sign up core. Uh, and uh, the, the good thing with this is that I can move around and I can teach just with the iPad. So I'm much more flexible. Uh, and also that the students, we uh, compared to what uh, Jonathan said, that you can use them uh, in a traditional way in the classrooms. We want them more to use them in uh, yeah, more active learning. So we're using the sign up and sign up core in a, more in a collaboration, so to say. And uh, the, the good thing that you can share, I don't know where my phone is now, but you can have these different devices that the students are coming with, a phone or iPad or computer, because the new generation, they don't uh, read if I give them a normal paper anymore. And they maybe forget the textbook, but here we can provide them with a lot of different things. So would you say that the sign up is the centerpiece of the AV installation in that room? Yeah, uh, when we started to create this room, we were looking how can we make it a little bit more advanced by um, both a traditional uh, way of teaching, but also to have more technology. And then we um, got in contact with the Wolf Vision and a Swedish company that sell the products. And then uh, we really liked the sign up. Uh, and then I wanted to have this, uh, that the students can be involved. And then we also focus on sign up core. Uh, and it's... Uh, it's the center of these uh, two rooms that uh, the two last I showed you, the twin room that we just call RLC uh, room. Thank you, Max. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Max. So just carrying on in, uh, in, in summary about the main sign up itself. So these are the, um, in, in summary, these are the areas that uh, um, we, we'd like to sort of focus on for the, uh, for the end of the session. Um, uh, we, we want to really make clear that uh, we, we think that the main sign up offers a huge amount in terms of uh, features. Um, there's a, a long list of, uh, of features that we've, uh, that we've gone over and um, that also the programming uh, installation and uh, and commissioning costs will be will be much reduced with a um, an all in one room solution such as sign up and uh, and and also we uh, believe it will be easier to manage in terms of ongoing support so for example if you did have a pre configured sign up um, in, uh, uh, in in your support office um, you would be able to easily swap this over within minutes um, uh, in, in the room. So um, in terms of um, programming, installation, commissioning and um, on-site maintenance, we, we like to think that the, uh, the, the main sign-up um, uh, will, will offer um, you know, a lot of benefits. And so really we see sign-up, uh, the main sign-up, as the, the real core intelligence in the room. Um, a device rich in features uh, that we, we believe offers an extremely cost-effective um, solution um, to your future room designs. And uh, we very much hope that um, uh, what we've covered uh, this morning, uh, that uh, you, know, you, you also um, believe that, uh, that sign-up could, could well be uh, 
could we could well meet those uh, those those uh, all in one uh, room solutions in the future. So thank you very much for your attendance. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, thank you also, John, Jan, Eva, and Max for your contributions. Uh, Taxel Mickey, I think, is, uh, is 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 what you say in Swedish. Uh, that's the extent of my Swedish, I'm afraid. Um, uh, I hope it's. I don't. I don't know what it is in Norwegian. Apologies, Jan, Eva, but uh, Tack, I think. But you can find more information about the main sign up on our website. Um, also through your local Wolf Vision partner or um, via one of our uh, Wolf Vision subsidiaries in your region. Um, but as I say, many thanks. Um, enjoy the rest of the day and uh, goodbye for now.